Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Because, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Wait here. Don't get killed. I'll try not to get killed. Here, we ain't meant to be. Get out of town, you assholes. We'll kill all our I can't believe he came back. Sweet fucking revenge. The lost aren't welcome here. Now we don't gotta look for them. Go, 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 go! Pussies! They're 
every one of you! What the fuck? No one fucks the lost MC! Fuck off!
Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, that's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Hmm? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Cousin Floyd gonna live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. Ma'am, what? And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but... Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Caps. I've seen it on I Find Maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Keep it straight now. This one's a right. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. okay. Fuck! Trevor, you called? No shit! What's happening? My ex-wife called me again. Man, there is nothing worse in this world than an ex-wife. A perpetual reminder of life's mistakes. A dreadful mistake. She's thinking of suing me again. For what? You live in a trailer. She heard my radio show. If she heard your radio show, she should pity you, not sue you. <laughs> That's nice, Trevor. No, Ron. It's not. It's unkind, but it's also true. Your ex-wife was a bitch! I did you the favor of a lifetime when I scared her off. You did. You really did. If after 12 years of happy marriage, one simple threat of dismemberment was enough to send her running, well, <laughs> I don't know. And she was having an affair. We proved that. You're right, Trevor. She wasn't committed enough. Exactly, Ron! Now get back to fucking work, all right? What are you yabbing at me for? Lester, uh, what's up? The jewels have been fenced, and Michael's angry Mexican friend has been compensated for the house, so I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store job. Good work. All right, cool, man. Good working with you.